Okay, this is Lewis from Bozak Motors. Just going to do a little walk around on this uh, Wrangler for you so you can see everything. Um, basically, what I like to do on these videos is just kind of show you a basic overview of the features that are on it, um, along with any imperfections. So anytime I'm looking for a vehicle, I'm usually pretty particular. Um, so if I see any perfect imperfections worth noting, I'll show you them, like any rock chips or marks or scratches or anything like that worth noting. So uh, we'll start at the front here. Um, this one does have quite a, quite a few nice uh, upgrades to it as far as the same hair trim level you've got the upgraded um, LED headlamps with the uh, driving lights and LED uh, turn signals over here on the side and running lights so nice lighting package of course all the Saharas feature the nice silver trim on the inserts of the grill along with the silver trim inserts around the edges of the front bumper everything up front here looks pretty good not anything worth noting um, up front here and then we can take a look at the hood as well and uh, front driver's side fender. We've got the original tires on the vehicle, the Goodyear uh, Wranglers with the Kevlar sidewalls, so all, more of like an all-terrain tire, and the standard Sahara wheels, which is a polished aluminum with a uh, granite pocket um, painted wheels. Tires, good shape, plenty of life left to them. Not new, obviously, but plenty of life. That nice Sahara logos on the side. All Saharas come with the uh, running boards on the sides of the vehicle just looking at the doors here of course you can pause during the video at any time if you wanted to you know take a look at anything here not really seeing anything worth noting um, just yet and then the back wheel <clears throat> I did see a little mark here let's see here looks like little scuff marks from your feet kind of getting in and out looks like those should come off you got the passive entry on the door handles so just a one touch behind the door handle to unlock push to lock as long as the keys are with you blind spot monitoring is on the mirror so right here there's little triangles on the outer corners of the mirror that will light up in orange when someone's in your blind spot of course you got your power locks power windows the doors come off you do have door checks now if you haven't seen a new Wrangler they didn't used to have these so they have door checks now that'll keep those doors in place when you open them uh, manual seats with the lumbar adjustment here and height adjustment and backrest on the strap coming over to the interior you can see the automatic headlamps with the two roll switches for dashboard brightness interior lighting We've got the nice 8.4 touchscreen display very intuitive system with your main menu bar at the bottom navigation apple carplay and android auto connectivity is uh, standard on these dual climate control for driver passenger heated seats heated steering wheel obviously all the hard buttons for when you're driving all your window switches are right here in the center stack with your USB, micro USB, and auxiliary switch. Another power source, four-wheel drive, standard uh, part-time system, two, two, four high, neutral, and low. Auto stick feature with an automatic transmission. You can shift it over to upshift and downshift like a manual trans. Nice uh, cup holders there. Locking glove box with your original owner's manual there and wheel lock key down inside there. We do add wheel locks to all of our vehicles. We've got the home link for a garage door opener right here, so you can program that. Looks like I've got a little chip here on the glass, rear common for the Wranglers. I'll have to find out from my manager if we had that repaired already. If we didn't, we'll definitely do so. And 19,000 miles, 19,055. Come over to the rear seat here. cloth interior power window switches in the center stack 115 volt power source USB plugs in the back for the back passengers 60 40 split seat on these they will fold down nice and flat creating a nice big storage in the back you can fold down both sides come over to the rear of the vehicle you can see the rear tailgate all in nice shape original spare tire doesn't look like it was rotated um, in uh, the rotations so that that tire is basically like new. Got rear parking sensors. That is an optional upgrade. Along with the, <clears throat> you've got the uh, backup camera, of course, and the LED tail lighting and the passive entry is found back here on the tailgate door as well. Come over to the interior. Nice space. Got the upgraded Alpine sound system in the back. Everything is in nice shape here. I don't see any gouges in the plastic or anything. Got some dust down in here. No, that's not dust. 
Huh, I wonder if that's from the factory, little white dots. We got a little uh, bolt organizer here. If you take your top off and then underneath there is going to be your tools for your jack and spare tire. Power source back here. Come over to the passenger side, show you the rear quarter here. All in nice shape. Obviously the painted top is an upgrade. You have the body colored painted top. Everything looks like it's in good shape here on this side. Not really seeing anything worth noting here. Come over to that rear tire, or that front tire rather. Then we'll come over to the front driver's side. I mean passenger side. I'm all backwards today. Dashboard. Seating. Not seeing any stains or anything like that. Definitely doesn't smell like it's been smoked in. Floor mats. Uh, you do have the upgrade optional uh, hardtop headliner kit. So these um, help with sound deadening and a little bit of insulation on those panels. Of course, those are all removable, those front two panels. And the rear is all one piece. With your sound bar up top in the middle. Connect to your roll bar. And then the rear seat on this side and door. Again, not all beat up. The, sometimes you'll see these, the plastic on the door panels and stuff are all scratched up and gouged up from people getting in and out. Doesn't seem that way. I'm gonna open the hood here so you can take a peek. It is running right now. It's a 3.6 liter Panastar V6. With it being certified pre-owned, you're gonna have the balance of the manufacturer's powertrain warranty, but then it actually gets extended. But certified pre-owned vehicles are gonna come with a seven year balance of a seven year or 100,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. So that starts at the original date of purchase from the first owner. So you get the balance of that time or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. And then the basic limited warranty of the three year 36 obviously is still in force. And then you'll get a three month, 3,000 mile max care coverage along with roadside assistance and uh, rental reimbursement for first day of service while the, if the vehicle is down. Um, but nice looking Jeep. The only things I worth, really worth noting, I saw little scuffs on the edge of that door there at the bottom from feet getting in and out, but I think most of that should rub out. Um, otherwise, everything else looks looks pretty decent. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I know there is a, a couple people who have been showing this vehicle, so if you're interested, I would suggest to move on it uh, sooner than later. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.